Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm Dr. Mars Stofer, and here at Homerton, I'm the Director of Studies for 1A Engineering and Admissions. And that means it's my responsibility, um, with the help of our admissions team, to select which engineering students we offer places to, what those offers are to be, and once you start your studies here at Homerton, I'm your principal source of academic support during your first year of study. So I keep in regular contact with you and ensure that you're comfortable uh, getting the support you need and are in the best position to achieve your full potential on the course. So mm -hmm. I'm going to run through uh, with you the basic structure of the engineering course here at Cambridge, why it's been so successful at producing some of the world's greatest engineers and why Homerton College is a leading contributor to that. I'll also talk about how our admissions process works from assessment tests through to interviews and finally to making offers. And I'll give you some advice on, on how to prepare for the process and what we're looking for specifically in a candidate. So uh, let's start at the beginning. Why study engineering? Well, if you enjoy being creative, but not only with paintbrushes and, and words, maybe, but with mathematics, then engineering is the ideal subject for you. Scientists and engineers are similar, but have distinctive differences. It is an engineer that creates something new, whereas a scientist investigates that which already exists. So it's us as engineers that hold the opportunity to create new solutions to the world's biggest challenges. Whether those problems be in space, under the sea, or uh, even inside the human body itself. And those are obviously very different environments. So engineering in itself is, is a very broad field. And inevitably, we will need to specialize at some stage in our career. And here at Cambridge, one of our most unique qualities is that we help you decide which specialization is for you during your time here. So what kind of specialized specializations do we do? Well, be it aerospace and aerothermal engineering, such as shown here, we've got Jenny Sidney, uh, that our newest astronaut at Cambridge, who was at college with me during my PhD, but I'm down here and she's up there. Or uh, one of our aerodynamics researchers, as shown here on the left, working on improved equipment for competitive skiing using our Markham wind tunnel in the uh, top floor of the department next to my office. And it's quite loud. You can do electrical, electronic and computer engineering, where Cambridge alumni have developed the suspension system upon which supercars are built. Uh, and in the medical field, where Cambridge has helped develop implants for deformities in patient skulls, as you can see with the 3D printed cranioplasty implants. Another aspect that you can specialise in is energy, sustainability and the environment, along with civil and structural engineering where some of our graduates have helped develop the liquid crystals used for advanced solar farms, worked in earthquake damage assessment, and the photo in the center you can see there is one of our students doing site work, and he's sort of walking or crawling through a reinforcement cage where you're gonna have some optical fibers traveling through. Or, finally, you might want to specialize in mechanical or bioengineering where we've had graduates work on enhanced bone growth to grow bone into implants and in the steel industry. So that's shown in the center right photo there with a student visiting the Tata steel plant in Port Talbot. She always gets students excited with the glow of the hot metal. So now I'm quite interested to see if, uh, if you had to make a choice now, how many of you would know what specialization to go for. A lot of you know what interests you, and that's good, because one of the key things that you need to show us at Homerton is that you're passionate about engineering and have some ideas of what, of what really interests you about, about the subject. 